Larry Irving has the most common form of MS called relapsing remitting, which has affected his motor skills and more. As far as me trying to um, get the words out, uh, that became difficult. If Larry's MS becomes the progressive type, which some people start out with, it becomes even more disabling. The loss of motor function, the loss of balance, the loss of cognition, it becomes a really disabling uh, situation. Dr. Lauren Krupp, the head of the MS Care Center at NYU Langone Health, says that we all lose some brain volume with aging, but that loss is greatly accelerated in MS patients. But now an oral asthma drug, Ibutilast, approved in Japan and used in a relatively small study of 250 MS patients, seems to have slowed that brain loss. Half got the drug and half got placebo. It cut in half the progression of brain atrophy and brought the rate quite close to what we see in otherwise healthy people. Dr. Robert Fox of the Cleveland Clinic used MRI scans to measure brain volume and shrinkage over two years. All the neurologic skills that we rely on, you need the brain tissue and the spinal cord tissue to do those. So how does an asthma drug help MS? The theory is that it calms the immune cells that lead to asthma and therefore might also help calm the immune cells that attack the lining of nerve fibers in the brain and spinal cord in MS. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.